Hi, and in today's short video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can have multiple fonts and font sizes on one page in Word. Now, generally, when you go ahead and type, you can change the font as you go, but obviously you're relatively restricted by the return key and where you can physically put those fonts. So the way to get around this is to go to Insert, Text Box, click on the drop down and select Draw Text Box then just draw out a text box. doesn't matter how big or small it is because you can fully customize this text box. Now we're just going to put some text in. So I'm just going to put some random text in here. And as you can see, if you just grab the corners of the boxes, you can resize them to fit your text. Now, I'm not going to use all of this text, so I'm just going to double click inside. You can see my cursor is now inside with the text and just click and drag I'll just take out this much text so that's all the text we have there. So when I click away from this text box you can see it's got a black border and it's actually got a white background but you can't actually see it at the moment. So we're going to get rid of both of those and customize this text box for future use to copy and paste. So select the box, go to shape format, go to shape outline, click on the drop down and select no outline. Then I go along to Shape Fill, click on the drop down and select No Fill. When I click away now, you can see you've just got the text on its own. Now, in order to produce more text, it's easy to just copy and paste this text box. Now, you can do that three ways. You can either go to the Home tab, make sure your box is selected, go and select Copy, click away from the box and then click Paste. That's the first way. The second way is Command or Control C, click away, Command or Control V. And the third way is to select the box, simply hold down your Alt or Option key, click and drag out another box. So there's three ways in which you can do that. So let's just move these two boxes down to the bottom. And again, let's just double click inside the box, select our text. The easy way to do that is Command or Control A to select everything. Go to the Home tab, and then in this section here, you can fully customize all of your text. So the first thing we can do is change the font. So let's go to just another member of this family, Calibri Light. And then using these two icons here, you can increase and decrease the size of your font quite easily. It will increase and decrease to a set format, or you can click on the drop down and select a different value here or you can simply enter in your value at the top here and select your font size. Now with these boxes, you can move them any way you like. You can also align them. So for example, if I select this box and then I hold down the command or control key, I can select both of these boxes. I can then go to shape format and along to this align icon here, click on the drop down, and you're given multiple different options. You can either align to the top, align to the bottom. The middle and the align to center at the moment don't really function. You can align to the middle, which is this one here, which will line up these central squares along the horizontal. But if I line them to the center, they'll go on top of each other. So we don't want to do that. So if I line them to the top, which is more logical, you can see now we've got them perfectly lined up. We can then go ahead and produce far bigger text. So let's just say we want to get rid of this text. Double click inside, Command or Control A. Then just type out your uh, text. And then again, Command or Control A, go to the Home tab. And then we can go to the Increase Font Size icon. And then we can change that font if we want to. There we go, and then yet again, we can move that around. Now, you can also change how the font lies inside this text box. So currently, it's aligned to the left. But if we go to Shape Format, we can select from Align to Left, Center, Right, and Justify. We can go to the center here, and that will mean that our font is perfectly centered inside our box. What that also means, if you align it with the alignment tool to the center of your page, go to align, go to align to center, that will mean that your font is fully lined up with your page in the center of your page. And then we can go ahead and we can make some much larger text. 
Again, change the font and increase the font size. You can, of course, change the color of your font if you use this icon here. And also, there's an additional colors if you click on the drop down. You've got lots of additional colors here. And if you go to more colors, again, you've got your color wheel. You can move this little icon around. And then you can move this slider to make that color darker or lighter. And then just click OK. And you can see that text changes. Let's just turn that back to black. And then again, I'm going to select this box, hold the Alt or Option key down, click and drag out another box for the final example. And then once again, just go up, change your font, and then we can align those two boxes, shape format, align, align to top. So that's just a quick video to show how you can place multiple different fonts and font sizes on one page in Word. I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.